So today I'm going to talk about stripping cloth nappies and the only time that you're going to really need to strip cloth nappies is if they're starting to smell and you'll know this by a couple of different ways. So if you kind of give them a really massive like sniff sometimes you can smell what smells like kind of like a residue of wee if that makes sense this is particularly in children who are like my children very heavy wetters um if it's been sitting in your kind of laundry pail for quite a long time if um your child is teething you can sometimes smell it a bit more then and also if you find that when your child is weeing in the nappy as soon as they wee if you can smell a smell like an ammonia smell or just like a really strong smell another reason why you might want to strip them is if they are starting to leak sometimes because they need stripping it could be a reason why that if you if structurally the nappy looks fine then it could be that they need stripping so there's different ways in which you can do this and i have done a how to wash cloth nappy videos uh, video and in that video i did use um non-bio that is not working for us at all anymore we have to use biological powder and biological powder there's nothing wrong with it i mean we buy it from an eco brand called bio d uh, i think ecover do some we don't use ecover but if you know you can get like more like eco-friendly brands and bio hat contains enzymes which are what break down any kind of nasties and the great thing about bio i feel is that you that only works at lower temperatures so you are best washing at 40 whereas with something like non-bio it doesn't have those temperatures so you kind of need the higher temperature to kill off any bacteria so we use not a bio on our nappies now in the uk we are one of the few countries that use non-bio not many countries use non-bio and if you give your your clothes a really good rinse after you shouldn't have any issues with kind of sensitivity if you do just stick to I'm a big believer just stick to what's working for you but if you're finding your your cloth nappy routine you just can't get rid of the smells or you can't shift anything just try bio and obviously make sure you give them a good rinse afterwards maybe even two rinses um, Albert has very severe eczema and we've never had any trouble using biological powder at all um, and lots of people do like to use eco eggs now i'll leave a, a link down below and i've had people ask me if um if if they can use an eco egg i personally don't recommend them it goes for soap nuts as well definitely not soap nuts i'll leave a link down below from the nappy science gang and they're a really good gang that have actually done lots of experiments and things um and science experiments on nappies and eco eggs do not kill any of the pathogens that are left from your nappies so what was happening was is they're being washed at 40 degrees with an eco egg and they were coming out and being swabbed and that all the pathogens were still there all the really like kind of harmful bacteria was still kind of lingering on your nappies and it makes sense i mean we're dealing with poo and bodily fluid especially if they've been sitting there for a while this is another thing you, d you don't have to wash your nappies very often i personally don't like to leave it any longer than two days because any urine particularly strong urine that's been that's heavy like i said my children heavy wetters they will saturate this entire nappy it's sitting there for a long time it's soaking into the fibers and it's much more difficult to kind of really you're going to really need to give it a good like strong wash um, and an eco egg just doesn't always do that if it's working for you fine i'm always a big believer don't change what already works but if um i've had people say to me that it's not working what can they do and and i will always recommend biological powder you don't need a full scoop you can just need just a just a normal decent amount but it will really kill any of those enzymes will kill any of the pathogens there i don't you do any of my other laundry um with 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 it i just use an eco egg for all my other laundry because an eco egg does like help wash your clothes but when it comes to nappies it's as good as rinsing them in just normal water because it's not kind of actually getting rid of any of the bacteria that's in there so the number one way to actually strip your nappies is to wait for a rainy day wait till it's really 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 heavily rainy and stick them either out on the line or in a big bucket or tub and just leave them there to completely saturate in the rain i don't know what it is about rain but rain just is really good for giving them like the best rinse and then you can put them on a wash a normal wash a normal kind of nappy wash afterwards i know people that don't even kind of 
just put a tiny bit of powder in but most of it is kind of water and they find that it just gives their nappies a totally complete cleanse i definitely think that the rain is the best way. Another thing you can do is leave them soaking in the bath for a couple of days um, and just kind of keep turning them in the bath. This is gonna take up your bath, so I don't personally recommend that way, but that's one way in which you can strip your nappies. If you want to wash them in the washing machine um, quickly, then this is what I do. This is what works for me, this is what works for other people. I put them all in the washing machine and put them on a cold rinse. And by that, I don't mean like a pre-wash setting, just an ordinary kind of rinse setting and put them on a cold, cold rinse. Again, you could replace that rinse with having them in the, sh in the rain overnight. Then a scoop of biological powder. Again, you could use non-bio if you preferred, but for me, I like to use biological powder and wash at 40. If you're washing with a non-bio, I suggest you wash at 60 for this. Wash at 60 with a biological powder. The enzymes don't work as well, so it's kind of not really doing the job as well. You might as well just use a non-bio. Um, so put that on like a really good wash, just an ordinary cotton wash perhaps, and then afterwards you want to give them a really good rinse. So I I always rinse twice sometimes I rinse three times however we live in a hard water area so the water is quite hard it's quite kind of scaly lining scaly so sometimes that in itself can cause problems so if you live in a hard water area probably just stick to two rinses no more than that and another thing you can do to soften your water is just add in soda crystals as well which is really good and softens your water so that's what I do to strip my nappies and afterwards I always give them a good smell and they just smell like this like there's nothing in them like no kind of yeah residue type smell that's it that's all i have to say i hope you like this video and i hope it's helped you if you've got any trouble it can be a bit of troubleshooting you know working out what's going on with your nappies if they do start to smell but you know I think eco-friendly options are, are awesome and there are options that you can use but you do need to you know my nan said to me the other day she said we boiled our nappies for a reason because they were because they needed boiling you know and I guess that's the same with if you're washing in the washing machine you need to be getting rid of those bacteria that bacteria you need to be getting rid of those germs those pathogens that are there the nappy science scanner swabbed them afterwards and they are there so you know again do whatever works for you but I would I would in this case just think about something a little bit more with a kick in it, you know? It's gonna kick out that crap in your in your nappies. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment if you've got any comments. What's your routine? What works for you? Please click like if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. I haven't got a routine. I just upload as and when, but I do blog every week. So make sure you check out my blog. Link is down below. Follow me on social media and then you'll get updates for whenever I put new blog posts up. Um, all the links are down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.